Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. By the way, the bump attack badges I got from here, I forgot to mention, uh, is an exclusive to the Pit of 100 Trials. So yeah, you can't get it anywhere else in the game. Alright, let's move on to floor 81. And now, well you're not new, uh, but I should switch to... Because it's probably going to be a ground-based battle whenever you see uh, uh, one of those guys. Uh, yeah, probably Coops. And we are going to get a hammer. Come on, get get closer. Get over here. Uh oh. 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 Oh! Oh, come on! <laughs> ah, well, I got lucky anyway. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Those are arantulas. So I can tablet them. Yeah! Um... Must be a random encounter, because I have it written down as they appear on floors 83 and 88. <laughs> Because, yeah, there's a certain amount of randomness to some enemies that can appear on some floors, but so what I'm going to do here is run away, because I need to tattle. So I'm going to switch immediately to Goombella, and there we go. Oh, all the coins just flew out at once because I paused. That's actually kind of handy if you think about it, because then they don't scatter all over the place when you're trying to run away. Oh, come on, you're too smart for me, aren't you? Yep, you, yep, you're definitely too smart for me. Ah! But you can't escape my super guards. <laughs> now, Tattle, the Arantula. These are the most powerful version of the Piters. That's an Arantula. It's a spider like creature that lives deep underground. Max HP is 16, attack is 7, and defense is 0. Yeah, it's pretty tough. It spits web wads at you. Sometimes even attacks several times in a row. That coloring freaks me out. I'm kind of scared of spiders, so let's do this quickly. Okay. But first we're gonna run. <laughs> same st uh, same tactic of, you know, just turn conservation. Now I'm gonna go over to... Vivian or Bobbery. Eh. <laughs> I think I'll do... Bob... Uh, Vivian. Because she has the attack dodging capabilities. And we, oh yeah! <laughs> Who got the last laugh now, huh? <laughs> Woo! Only it hits uh, ground bound enemies, but yeah. It was a, it was a principal thing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh yeah, I'm low on flower points. Great. It might be time for a whack a bump. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, I'll probably be fine. Mm, I don't know. Because mm. the whack a bumps. <laughs> uh, mm, eh. you know, I'm doing a lot of self debating here. Uh, how about I instead. No? Well, I could Earth Tremor, actually. Yeah, I'll Earth Tremor this time. I'm not in danger of, you know, dying or anything because my HP isn't low. It's just a thing of, I'm trying to be as conservative as possible in the strategy that I have. And speaking of strategies, I should mention some other kinds of strategies that people like to use at the Pit of 100 Trials. Some people have badge setups that are entirely focused on uh, high defense so that they endure the place. Uh, there's also badge setups for high attack points so that they just blow through everything, which is one of the setups that I was considering, but I figured that on higher uh, levels of the place I would have more difficulty uh, just like burning through things that way because the higher HP, it just wouldn't be quite as helpful, so I thought it would make a sort of like a hybrid strategy of everything that I, ah, everything that I might possibly need. And yeah, uh, there's another thing that's, oh! Whoa, you are tricky! <laughs> There's another thing that's known as Danger Mario, where you have Mario at low HP and all sorts of damage dodging and power-upping types of badges to go with that, uh, such as Power Rush. 
Uh, but, you know, that's, that has its element of risk uh, that you can uh, lose pretty quickly if things don't go right. So I decided to go against that one. Uh, there's also people just simply going itemless and boosting their stats as high as they possibly can. By the way, I'm trying to think what I want to do here. <laughs> That's why I'm talking about stuff. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to spin jump on that Arantula. Nah, And there we go. Okay, and... There's one more strategy that I, I wanted to talk about, but I, I forgot. Maybe, maybe that is all of them, I don't know. Ah, you stinker. Eh. Danger. <laughs> it's gonna be awkward timing this one, because it's really close to the top of the screen, but it's okay. And there we go, let's finish it off before it does its multi-attack thing again. Woo! And now for you, my pink fellow. I win. <laughs> Woo! Now give me some nice flower points to recover my stuff. Yeah, I guess not. Well, uh, I see a level up is incoming, so... Well, I probably will just hold off until the level up. <laughs> oh my goodness, Dark Bristle. That is an extremely powerful enemy. <laughs> You'll see why when I get the stats up here. It's not so much the uh, HP or its attack power. Well, maybe it is. Its attack power is kind of high. What it, what its issue is though, is its incredibly high defense. That's a dark bristle. It's an aging creature made of rock. Max HP is eight, attack is eight, and defense is four. You can't jump on it because of its spikes, and you can't approach it due to its spears. And its defense is high. You better take it out with special attacks or items. Yeah, I, I have the Earth Tremor idea going on here, but uh, right now I'm going to run away. <laughs> to get my uh, extra turn back, I guess you could say. And I'm going to switch to... I'm thinking Yoshter. And, oh wait, no, he's, he's not affected by the uh, Spike Shield. Because the Spike Shield badge is only for Mario, so maybe that's a bad idea. Uh, how about Vivian instead? I'll do an Earth Tremor and a Fiery Jinx. Oh wait, I can't use a Fiery Jinx because of the low flower points. Ah! That's not nice. <laughs> eh! Pain! So much pain! Alright, well, I can do a little bit of Earth Tremor dam damage here right off the bat. And then maybe what I'll do with the partner is just appeal. You know, just burn the turn with the partner by appealing and then, uh... uh Maybe take them out with the hammers one by one, because Mario has a spike badge, so it won't have any issues with the spears on the sides. But yeah, that's the most difficult version of the... Oh, shoot! Of the bristle to uh, take care of. Uh, this is the first time I missed the Earth Tremor during this run. Uh, and now we go and appeal. Yeah! I wonder if I should, like... Ah! I was thinking maybe I should sweet treat or something. Hmm. Well, first let's take out one, because otherwise they're just going to keep nicking off damage on me. Yeah! There we go. And... appeal again, I guess. Woo! And... Yes! Got the super guard. Very nice. And now... I destroy you! <laughs> Woo! Up! Uh! Well, I'm glad I got a little lucky there, because I was caught off guard again from that dang tricky stage. <laughs> Ooh, nice stat power-ups. Especially the flower points, because I'm kind of low on those. Alright, so next next uh, battle should be, keyword should be, a level up. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we got another Rantula here. Mm. Mm. Well, I got six flower points here, so I can fiery jinx it this time. Watch this. Oh, missed it. <laughs> Let's try it again. And right now. Ah! Oh, <laughs> this is really weird how you can do a super jump on it. Strike first. <laughs> and oh god, another bristle. You know, well, dark bristle. Okay. So. So. <laughs> Earth Tremor, I guess. 
and then uh, Fiery Jinx to finish the the main two off. Well, I mean, the Arantula's off, you know, the ones in front. And then I'll be able to do hammer attacks on the Dark Bristle. Mm hmm. Unless they both decide to go up to the top of the screen, which I doubt. Because it always seems like they switch positions. <laughs> Must be a part of their strategy of doom. Boop. There we go. And now, uh, Fiery Jinx. Providing this goes well. There we go. Woo! Yeah, it doesn't affect the bristle, but whatever. Oh, wait, wait, it didn't... Oh, oh, oh! In effect, the... Oh, jeez! I mean, it didn't wipe out the Arantula. That's right, so much HP. Hmm. Hmm. Well, hmm. <laughs> How about I... I think this will be fine if I Shade Fist and then do a regular attack. Yes. You know, a regular hammer attack versus the Dark Bristle. And then I should get that level up that I was hoping for. Woo! Yeah! And I still haven't used the single item. Woohoo! I wonder if I should go for flower points now, because I've got my badges set up how I like them. Mmm. 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 Yeah, I will. Woo! Too late now! <laughs> and... Moving on. How close are we? Level 83, oh boy. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go back over to... I guess Coops, yeah. I was gonna say maybe go back over to Goombella for the multi-bonk plus charge combo. But I think that's going to take too long versus the stuff. Oh god! Oh god, oh god. Exclusive enemy to the Pit of 100 Trials. So I'm going to have to switch to Goombella here. This is a regular Piranha Plant. Only it's the most powerful version of a Piranha Plant in the game. <laughs> kind of silly when you think about that. Because, you, you know, you got the... Uh, basic of uh, the most basic Piranha Plants. And then, you know, they're, they're the toughest version of them. Alright, here we go. Woo! That's a Piranha Plant! In fact, I think this is the strongest type of them all! Max HP is 15, attack is 9, and defense is 0. Its attack power is absurdly high. It may look like a normal Piranha Plant, but don't be fooled, it's super tough. If we get beaten by a flower, we'll never hear the end of it! Know what I mean? <laughs> Alright, so what, here's what I'm gonna do. Run to get my extra turns! <laughs> and hopefully I'll be able to run. Oh god, that's not good! That's not good at all! Oh! That's terrible, in fact. Ooh! I'm gonna have to super guard this. Oh, poopers! Yeah, because it's gonna burn a life shroom now. Dang, partner using up life shrooms and stuff, but it's okay. At least it's not Mario. That's the that's the big worry. Um Yeah, maybe see what I was expecting was I would be able to tattle and then run. But that didn't work out. Now I'm kind of in the situation that I would have been had I ran and then, you know, went back in the battle. So I might as well just continue here uh, rather than run from the battle. And I'll start out with an Earth Tremor! You know this strategy. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna do major damage to pretty much everything. Although I don't like the fact that Goombella can't really attack. But I'll, I'm gonna end up switching with her a little bit later on. I thought maybe I should have ran just to be able to switch partners outside of battle. Eh, I don't know. Yeah. Boop. Okay. And now... We are going to... Switch to... Hmm... Maybe Coops? Um... <laughs> Maybe I'll just do Vivian, because she, she has the fiery jinx. Ugh! Such attack power! Yeah! I'm used to super guarding you, so I went for that. I'm gonna regular guard you. Oh, I even fail at the regular guard. Alright, so... Yeah, fiery jinx. I'm just gonna get this over with. A, X, Y, Y, B! Whoop! Yeah! There we go. 
And oh yeah, that one piranha plant's gonna survive. <laughs> I can knock it into the back one though. So let's do a super hammer. I think it's gonna do enough damage to the one. Oh, it doesn't do enough damage in the back. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> ah. Yeah, poopers. Okay, let's now stop saying let's and just do a shade fist. <laughs> Don't, those spikes only, if, I should say, the teeth only affect you when you're on top of it. Woo! Alright. That could have gone better. But I got the tattle, and I've still got my items, so I'm still okay. As long as Mario doesn't faint, we are still okay. As a matter of fact, those life shooms probably were the most useless things that I chose here. Uh, in, you know, for my item inventory and whatnot. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, oh god. <laughs> you are a smart critter. <laughs> very, very smart critter. Oh, we actually got something normal. <laughs> like, like, this isn't hard to defeat at all. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, yeah, they have a lot of HP, but they're not, you know, super high attack power craziness. <laughs> that we've been used to at this point. Mm. And I'm pretty good at super guarding these too, so maybe that's what I'll do. Ah, maybe not. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they do have 7 attack power, but when I regular guard them, it really knocks it down, because I have those um, damage dodge badges. And now uh, another Shade Fist. This will take care of this one. Yeah. Oh, wait! Oh, that's right, yeah, that's three, not four. Poopers. Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> One more. Ah! I'm getting too greedy with the super guards, I admit. Alright. Now, this should finish. Whoa! Yep, because she's gonna do three damage with Shade Fist. And, okay, this, end this ended up being a little bit more difficult than I thought it would have been, but that's okay. I underestimated... The spunny uh, assault. <laughs> All right, going down. <laughs> yeah, if you stand on the the middle when you're on uh, when the pipe's about to pop up, it'll actually push you up with it. And moving on. I don't think there's any more enemies to tattle actually uh, on these floors, so I should be relatively safe. Let's switch to coops this time. Get the power shell raring to go. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> tricky, tricky boy. Oh god. <laughs> this is not a pretty setup, I have to say. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I shouldn't have Koops in front because he's going to take the brunt of everything. And he's going to use another life shroom that I've already used for Goombella. Pretty much uselessly, may I add. Dang, Goombella! <laughs> what? Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking of Earth Tremoring. Because at the very least, it'll take out the Dark Bristle in the back. Let's see... Well, if I do it successfully. There's always a possibility that I'll do less than 5 damage, but... I'm not planning on it. <laughs> okay, doing good. Okay, and there we go. Very nice. Woo! <laughs> and now for that spunny on front, power shell, which will also do damage to the... Oh, shoot, that... What the heck's its defense? <laughs> well, it's done now. I forgot what its defense is offhand. Oh, yeah, very nice. No damage is a happy turn for me. And... finished. Woo! Oh yeah! Success! And... Lots of stat recovery stuff there. Just like all coagulated. A lady six. Where's... where's a puny when I need it? <laughs> oh god! This is... this is dastardly! Hmm... Hmm... You know what, Koops is fine. 
Stop moving, stop moving. Okay. Oh! Are you- Are you actually psyching me out here? I think you are! Turn around, turn around. Fine, I'll get closer to you. <laughs> oh god, it's following me now! <laughs> it's the dance of the battle! <laughs> the dance of first strike, I should say. Oh my god. It just keeps getting worse and worse! <laughs> And they, they, those suckers can multi-attack. And I don't think... Can Koops hit all those ones in the back? I don't think it can. Okay, now that I know what's in here, I'm gonna switch to Vivian outside of battle so I got that extra turn. Uh, oops. <laughs> there we go. All the coins pop out at once. Because I remember that from earlier. Okay, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Okay, good. Stop moving, stop moving. Oh, I thought I was going to stop moving. Ah, <laughs> so much attack power. Mm, okay. I, wow. It's just so, everything's got so much HP. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be able to take out the Arantulas this turn, so I might as well uh, do this. There we go. And then... Oh, pfft. Total failure! <laughs> hmm... Okay, Fiery Jinx. Y-A-X-A-Y. This is also getting me burn damage. Uh, except for, you know, on the Dark Bristle. Yes! Tired of that thing attacking. It's got so much power! Oh! So many sneaky, underhanded flips. Whoa! Those things are scary. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what's what's in the audience? I don't know what was in the audience, the Bob Oak was blocking it, so I'll never know what item I just lost, or... Uh, if it wasn't even an item, maybe someone's gonna throw a can at me. Okay, Earth Tremor. I haven't really been able to sweet feast or sweet treat lately, it just doesn't seem... Uh, super productive, uh, in comparison to how it's been on the other floors. Okay, good. Focus on getting maximum damage to beat the bristle at the very least. And now this should be... I mean, I should be able to finish this turn. Uh, I should be able to destroy them all in this turn, I mean. There we go. Very nice. Fiery Jinx. Y-A-Y-A-A! -A -A. And I mistimed the stylish move. That's okay. Woo! Hmm... A little worried about my HP now. <laughs> I mean, with things doing so much damage, you know, I might want to start delving into the item stash. But right, we'll keep going. We have to go. We have to keep going. We must. We must find victory against all odds. Okay, there's not very many odds against us. <laughs> In fact, I, you know, I could have dodged stuff with the boo sheet, but I'm, I'm trying to save them for as long as I possibly can. Okay, what floor am I on? Uh, 88, two more to go. Mm. Mm. Oh. <laughs> and... Yeah, success! <laughs> so silly how you can first strike like that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I guess Earth Tremor. I'm doing my best to stay alive without using items for the most part here. And hopefully this isn't a mistake though. But I don't think it will be, because they aren't going to be able to do as, uh, enough damage to knock out Mario. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Ah! Good. Yeah, I'm pretty consistent with the Earth Tremors, so I have confidence I'll be able to get, to get that... Uh, Almost every time. Alright, Fiery Jinx. As long as I can do one damage, I will be happy. And I got maximized. I mean, I maximized the damage, which is good. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh! Suck it! Fight! <laughs> um... Hmm, how much damage does Vivian do to the Arantula? I forgot. 
you know, with a regular Shade Fist. I hope I'm not messing it up. Okay, it's five damage. Good. Now I'll be able to hammer the Bristle to finish it off. Yeah! Woo! Alright, one more battle for this part. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking of using my summer recovery items. So, yeah, I think that, that's what I'm going to do here. Is Ultra Shroom Mario. Woo! Good. And then... Maybe what I'll do is... Uh, whack a bump Vivian, because that'll recover both flower points and HP, but uh, Vivian and flower points are shared by both. All right, how's that sound? I think that sounds maximum efficiency enough and stuff and stuff and again, okay, getting weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, how about? Hmm. Coops. Yeah, very nice. Gotta get that super hammer, I mean ultra hammer off. Mm, it's not gonna do... Oh, it did some good damage to the bristle. I thought the um, defense would stop it, but I guess it nullifies the fence when something is knocked into it, similar to uh, um, the Yoster. Oh, shoot! That No, this can't be! <laughs> that just ruined... Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm thinking about running and then starting this battle fresh. Because that was pretty bad. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, you gotta think of the conservation here. Although, I could do a shell shield. This is probably... gonna be useless. <laughs> I was a little bit off there, but that's not bad. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Pain. So much power. <laughs> oh shoot! I don't have a. Still don't have an earth tremor. Hmm. Oh, I could do this at the very least. Cause yeah, it'll finish off the bristle, and then I'm going to power shell through them. I think of that last turn. <laughs> mm. Dang! High attack power! I'm glad he's not attacking Coops. I hate to lose another life shroom. Even though they're kind of useless. <laughs> as, as I explained before. There we go. Woo! At least useless in comparison to other stuff. Because of the whole... They only recover 10 HP as opposed to being able to recover... Uh, oh! Oh! Well, that's fine. <laughs> As opposed to being able to recover 50 HP. And there we go, floor 90. By the way, did you realize that the atmosphere of this place has gotten a lot different? Uh, as we got deeper and deeper? Yup. But yeah, here we are. Level 90. And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I do the final 10 floors of the Pit of 100 Trials. Hopefully! <laughs>